Hi everyone, it's Alicia and I'm so excited to be here with Soraya Knight. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Well, we are here at Rise 7. We saw you face Joey Ryan. A yeah. very, very fun match to watch. And the only intergender match of this entire weekend. So mm -hmm. how are you feeling about everything that just happened in the ring? Um, he tried. Bless his heart. I mean, he's, he's a man, so, you know, he, he gave me a beating. But it was just good fun. It was just good fun. <laughs> you know, the whole thing from start to finish was, you know, Joey Ryan's a great opponent and he's good to do the intergenders because he's he's willing to treat the person he's opposite the ring with as a wrestler rather than a female wrestler. Yeah. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I hope he did. Who is another man that you would like to face in the ring and just kind of kick their ass as you always do? To be honest, I don't really care. I just, oh, I just, just like to fight, yeah. You just see an opponent? Yeah. doesn't matter who they are? <laughs> and... No, I'm... I'll, I'll take anyone on. I, I, I okay. generally don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't. It's so, like, you know, if I'm built to fight that person, I'll, I'll fight him. Okay. Because if it doesn't work wrestling, I'll fight him. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, just speaking to that craziness, you are absolutely insane in the ring, and that's my favorite thing about watching you wrestle. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell you were going to do next. So have you always... Oh, why, mate? <laughs> I just go into that zone. It's like... Have you always kind of been <clears throat> fearless in that sense, where you're just ready as soon as you hear that bell? Um, I don't know, I've done it 28 years now, so like, it's all I know. Yeah. As soon as the bell rings, it's it's character from behind the curtain. And then, um, I don't know, when the bell rings, it's like, now it's time to play. Okay. I actually feel revved up at, at steaming into my opponent. They're just, just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Call me weird, I get off on it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Is anything running through your mind when you know you're about to do a crazy spot? Does anything run through like, oh, why am I about to do this? Or to it's honest, just programmed? Nine times out of ten, and anyone that will say they've wrestled me don't really know that the move's going to happen until it's done. And it's a... Okay. Oh, thank fuck that worked. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, never, I never know. I don't have a finishing move that, you know, because I don't want people to preempt my endings. I don't... You know, there's only one move that I do as a finisher, and it's because I can put it on any person, any size, and that's the bridled rocking horse. But I haven't actually got a finisher on nothing. Okay. I don't, you know, it's about fighting, isn't it? It's mainly just beating the shit out of the opponent. It's, it's about good. fighting, it's about survival, <laughs> it's about having a good time, beat the shit out of your opponent. Yeah. That's what it is, 100%. <laughs> well, you were in a film called Malice in Wonderland where you were a stunt woman. I was a stunt doing... prostitute, let's get this right. <laughs> You know, if we're going to do this... Sorry, correction. Let's do, let's, let's do the actual real story, Joey. <laughs> a company came to, um, my, to, to my husband and asked if he could use some of the family. Husband's given permission, and um, they needed two stunt women <laughs> to fall out the back of a truck. But these stunt women had to be dressed as prostitutes. Mm -hmm. And the only two people that could actually have the bottle to fall out the truck was me and Raya. Yeah. So we ended up as a couple of stunt prostitutes falling out the back of a truck. Stunt prostitutes? On Man Manus in Wonderland. You ever knew that so. was going to be on your resume? Nope. <laughs> nope. I've done some shit in this, this job, you know. <laughs> it is fairly dangerous, a lot of the stuff that you end up doing. So what would you say is the worst injury, bump, cut, bruise you've had because of wrestling? Um... I have to, I've, got, I've had so many. Yeah? I've had so many. Um, the most painful, I think, was when I was blinded. I was, like, blind, like, completely for six weeks. So, like, that was that was painful. Yeah. Um, but as injuries go, I think my knee, taking my kneecap off and losing it, so I have no kneecap in my right knee now. So, like, learning to walk and... Because the bottom of my leg was just held on by skin. Yeah. So it was oh, a, my gosh. Yeah, no, it's... It sounds awful. It was, it was really... Uh, it stung a bit. But, um, a bit. A bit, just a tad. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I've I've ripped, I've torn, I've I've broken, I've dislocated. I, they all hurt. Yeah, of course. I, they're all the worst pain in the world when you're going through it. But yeah. I don't know. Probably blinding. Blinding was it. Okay. Most painful. Well, I have a couple of tweets from you here that I'd love to hear a bit more about because you are fantastic on Twitter. Because you just speak your mind as you do in the ring. Ah. Uh, so. Yeah, but I don't give a shit. I, I'm I'm too old for that. I, I, I love just that. say how I feel. I feel you like know. everyone should be that way. I hate the phoniness of some people. Let's yeah. just say what you mean. I, outspoken, yeah. Bit of a twat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never just, mild, mild mannered. Never. <laughs> there's a warning there. there. There's a lot of cussing. I don't think I've actually ever said this word in an interview before. So this is this is a first. <laughs> Ready for this, everybody? First tweet. Today I'm a raging thunder cunt. Smiley face. Where did yes. that come from? Well. 
I just I just walked into my office one day and there's about seven or eight people and over the past four or five days all I'd heard was stuff about this seven or eight people. So I thought, Do you know what? Today I am gonna be a raging thundercunt, smiley face. And I I went in and I ripped them all up and spat them out and went back in my office and done my smiley face. I was like that raging was thundercunt. Okay. That's just a mode you go into once just in a while? Just a mode. And... It's like everyone wants for cover. Just rage and fun to come. Okay. <laughs> well, the other tweet that I have is, don't make your profile private if you're going to body shame and bully, you cowardly shit stain. Your mom should have swallowed you. So that happened to do with body shaming and someone tweeting something really douchey uh, towards your daughter Paige. So when you see something like that, body shaming online, because it happens way too often and people think it's okay and it's not, uh, how, how, do you, how do you deal with that? To be honest, I mean, to a certain degree, you're entertainers. And when people um, don't know what to say to you, they ridicule you with what they see. So if you're fat, they're going to call you a fat bastard. If you're skinny, they're going to call you a skinny twat. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just how it is. People, people will have a go at you with what they see. So like, um, I find it sometimes really fucking difficult to keep my mouth shut on Twitter. As you can tell, I have my little blow-ups. Um, especially when people start on about my little girl because you know they might think oh she'll never see it I see everything I see every single tweet that's written to me and it's um you know some of them are just disrespectful twats yeah and every now and again they'll catch me on a bad day and I'll call one of them a cunt waffle or something and <laughs> you know before you know it the internet's going nuts and Paige's mum is swearing again that's an interesting combo of words oh, <laughs> I do cum bubbles and cunt waffles and you know <laughs> So no, it's just people just annoy me. They they just think that they can say what they want to say. I mean, I'm I'm probably pot kettle black in this because I just say and do what the hell I like. But um, you know, some of the stuff I get on social media is just shit. Yeah. It's just shit. And if they stood in front of me, I, I you know, it'd be a completely different outcome than Always giggling the on case. the end of it. You know. Yeah. 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 Social media sometimes sucks. <laughs> sucks cunt waffle. <laughs> You had mentioned your daughter there, and we recently, bittersweetly, saw Paige retire um, on Raw. So seeing that, seeing your daughter in that aspect, what was kind of, what were you thinking about? With well, that? I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep that night. It was like, I knew she was hurting. And uh, it's, it's really hard to see genuine emotion of your kid in a ring in front of millions of people when you know that that emotion she's showing at the time is real. That's your little girl standing in the middle of the ring crying. You know, I mean, the one tear, it's all it took. As soon as that one tear come down, I was I was just sobbing because I just felt it. But, you know, you you got to... The WWE's vision of her, they just continue to amaze me, you know. She gave a heartfelt speech on a Monday, and on Tuesday she's in control of SmackDown. Right. It's like, there you go. <laughs> you can't keep a good, good, good girl down, can you? Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. I love hearing that. No, she's a good kid. She is, and she's been through shit, but... You know, we've all got a story to tell, and her story's just been more public. Mm -hmm. But she'll be fine. She'll she'll do shit. She'll she'll continue on because she's a knight. <laughs> well, I know that you have the nickname Sweet Soraya, and apparently oh. this came from you moshing at a metal club and then hearing the DJ say the band Slayer, but you heard it incorrectly. Is that I was actually? I was right. That's on the ac okay, because I heard you. I, I, I know was, you said I was that. I off my tits. I swear <laughs> to God, and I'm moshing. I'm about 15 years old and I'm moshing in this mosh pit and it's like, oh man, this is like real good, like good fight. And um, next thing I know, it's like, I'm head banging and that was a late song by Slayer. But me being wrecked, heard Soraya. And as I've come off the dance floor, I thought, cool, fucking hell, if I had a little girl, it'd be really cool to be cool to call her Soraya. Just stuck with me. Just literally stuck with me. So when I had my, my little girl, it's like there was no other name. But I used it first. <laughs> I had to nick it because I love the name. Yeah. So it's like, oh, fuck it. I can't wait for a daughter. I'm nicking it. I'm taking it now. I'm taking it. It's my name. <laughs> I'll name you after me, bitch. Because <laughs> I had read that in one interview and I was yeah. not sure if that was true or not. So I love the fact that that's actually where and it all the came from. And the fetus is true. <laughs> she wrestled as a fetus. <laughs> yep. Since we are talking about music, we had mentioned Slayer there. If you could have one band play you down the ramp into the ring, who would you absolutely love to well, see? But it has do to be that? Linkin Park. Okay. And it can't happen, but it'd have to be because that's been my music for like, fuck knows, like since the song came out. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I mean, obviously, there's, I, I wouldn't mind like some other bands, but um, it has to be Escape the Fate because no one else can do that tune. Okay. 
Well, just to wrap things up, I do want to leave it with the fans. Is there anything you would like to say to everybody who'll be viewing? Just parting words. Um, to be honest, you got you got two ways to go in life. Uh, you can say that you're struggling, or you can say that you're winning. And it doesn't matter how many times you get put back. Just keep fighting. And remember, you're meant to be odd, because when you're just like everybody else, you don't stand out. So being odd is cool. So if you've got an oddity, it doesn't matter what it is, use it. And there you go. That's fabulous. There's a lot of beeping out to do. I'm not beeping anything. Oh, we, I'm gonna let this run. I'm not. Uh -uh. Oh, We're gonna so keep it authentic. Shit. So much shit. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, Thank you so much. There you go. <laughs>